about to explore some tunnels. Frankie, say hey. Hey. Got a couple of night cores here. I've been wanting to use this lantern for a while. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, this is the LR12. We'll show you how it works, but Frankie, uh, Frankie showed me how it works earlier. Yeah. That's what usually has to happen. I thought it was a piece of junk, but um, I just didn't know how to use then it. Then I just read the instructions. Actually, that was <laughs> that was the trick. Okay, and then the Nightcore NM01. So these are going to be our primary flashlights for this this uh, tunnel trip. Exploring. Flashlights check. Creepy tunnel. Check. <laughs> Frankie's nervous to go inside here. Um, no, it's, it's, we're not exactly sure how far it goes. I don't think it's too far, but it's definitely pitch black, yes. which will be good for the lights. So we've got basically a lantern and a standard 1000 lumen flashlight. Nightcore. Both 18650s. This one's rechargeable. We got a fresh charge on both of them. All right, Frankie. Okay, let's go. Light at the end of the tunnel this way. Pitch black the other way. Okay, Frankie's got the little lantern. Yeah, I do. I don't have the lantern part out though. So you can use this as a basic flashlight. Yeah. And Let's then- see. Here, I'll shine, shine a light on you here. And then you use it as a lantern too. So then it just illuminates right in front of me really well. Put this in full lantern mode. Is this, that what we're yeah, in now? Yeah. Okay. You can, and you could just set this on the floor. Mm -hmm. Or hang it up in your uh, sleeping, sleeping bag. Sleeping hang, area. Hang it up in your tent. <laughs> yeah. It does actually look it pretty handy. Rolls back in. Show us though, there are three modes on this light. Okay. Um, here, let me get this back in. This is what I didn't figure out at first. Okay, so you just, okay, so that's high. And then you go to turn it off, you turn the back here. Twist the back. And that's really low, look at that. Yeah. And then you go to turn it off and then turn it back on. Then that was medium and then high and then super bright. Twist forward, off, so forward, off, yeah. forward, off to go through the three modes. Yeah. There we go. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can turn it into the lantern by twisting the by body twisting of the light. the body, yeah. Right, yeah. Which is interesting. So you can Not kind bad. of have a little combo if you wanted to just do half and half. So then it makes it a little bit further out and well, then close up. Up close, too. You still have a focused beam, yeah. even with the lantern out, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. All right. The more I play with it, the more I like it. There, now I'm on 1,000. I've got five, 200, and 1,000 on this NM01 Nightcore. All right. So I've got the NM01 rear push button. This is on the 1,000, this is on the 1,000 lumens mode here. To switch through the modes, Frankie, can you give me some light? Yeah. To switch through the modes here on the rear button, the button's nice. I'm not crazy about the operation on this one. Yeah. So you have to push and hold. Go ahead and turn yours off. Okay. Push and hold. And then you press. Oh, okay. I guess I guess I'll get used to it, but it's um, it's different than other flashlights, so it makes it I don't know. Yeah, right now if I just go to push the light to turn it on, it won't. I gotta wait a couple of seconds, and I don't want to wait a couple of seconds. No, I don't want to in this tunnel. And then it goes. It will always go to the five lumen mode, which is on right now, guys. Mm -hmm. It's barely anything. So when I need light now. This is not the flashlight for it. Yeah. There's 200 and there's a thousand. Well, and that being said, this one on the LR12 
is okay too, but having to twist it to go through the different, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm a salt shaker. <laughs> salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, grinder. because because yeah. look at put put your illumination on my hand while I'm doing it. Because you have to do this, twist which I guess is on okay. and off. Yeah, but you just don't want to go too far because then you'll twist the top off too. So I mean, it's kind of I don't know. And then when you're twisting the the lantern. I don't know, but it's kind of like a little lightsaber too, so that's kind of neat. That which way. mode? Which uh, brightness level are you on now? I think maximum? that's a thousand. Yeah. When you actually oh, get oh wait, there's the there brightness. it is. Yeah. Okay, let me turn mine off. What you do? Push and hold. The use is a little clunky. Um, shine up. Let's hold this towards the ceiling. It is bright. So there's the focused beam. I don't know how well it's coming through, but it actually does give an okay amount of light here yeah, around us. Yeah, here right locally, it's pretty bright. And of course we've got light at the end of the tunnel literally right now. Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> 200 lumen mode for the NM01. How's the heat level of your light? It's not too bad. It's warm, but not too bad. I'll show that Frankie's got the LR12, the lightsaber light. Yeah. Mine's getting pretty warm. I've been using mostly the 200 mode. Yeah, I think I was just on medium. Talking about 60, 65 degrees out today. There's a thousand. The light is good enough. I just don't like the push button and the user interface. I just, I'm not crazy about it. Back to the car. I don't know, Frankie, we got the two models here, the NM01 and the LR12 Yeah. from Nightcore. I guess I'm not really a fan of either one. I thought after some use that I would be. This one might be okay in the camping setting because it's not as big of a deal, you know, changing from the different modes. She's you can just set it up into one mode. She's talking the LR12 with the, the lantern capability. Yeah. It, it, it took me a little while to figure out, yes, I should have read the directions, but it is not immediately obvious how to go through the modes on this thing. Uh -huh. That just bothers me. Yeah. This light here, it's a little more standard. Um, you could do the tail stand. It's got the rear button uh, selector. It is USB rechargeable, that's cool. But to turn on the light, it takes a second. And then you're always on low, hmm. and you gotta go through the modes from there. And then to turn it off also takes a second. If you are on low, you might hit that button. It happened to me earlier. You can hit the button and think that you shut it off and you're still on low. Oh yeah. And it'd just, it just sit there and, and run out its battery. The battery. It, Lasts a ridiculous runtime on low. Let's see if we can see that. All right. Well, there's some of the specs. It, it it's it's got um, a ton of hours on the low setting, but I guess I'm just not a huge fan of the user interface on these. And I'm gonna call this the salt shaker. The salt shaker? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because that's what you have to do to turn it on. Maybe we've just been spoiled by O-lights and through nights yeah. lately. Hmm. I mean, but like I said, if you had it just set up as your lantern camping, that would be fine. Yeah. Because you're not messing with it too much. And that's kind of nice. That is a bright lantern. True, yeah. But, yeah. Between the two, I like the LR12 a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I would use this one more so. Yeah. We'll put links into Amazon if you guys want to check them out. Not much money, but all right. Thanks a lot for joining us.